Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Beer Geek Nation. Thank you for joining me once again. All right, guys, so let's uh, take a seat for this one. This is Shorts Brewing. This is their PB&J. PB&J, peanut butter and jelly, friends. It is their peanut butter stout, their Uber Goober, um, blended with one of their fruit ales. I think it's their high, it's a high gravity fruit ale. As far as the ABV, I have no clue. Um, I'm guessing, you know, when I get to the taste, I'll try to put a better guess on it. I'm guessing between five and 7%. It's a limited winter release, available pretty locally. If you're in Michigan, you can get it. This is one of those beers that's pretty hotly traded on Beer Advocate. You know, people just want to try. I'm buying to try it. So with that said, friends, let's get into a glass. So you know how it smells, tastes. Give me the verdict on Shorts Brewing PB&J. All right, guys, so the appearance on the PB&J. Um, you know, it's, it looks like a stout. It's got that really, really, it's, a, it's not black so much as a really, really super dark brown. Nice off-white head, khaki color there. Um, there's some alcohol lacing on the glass. Nice head retention. Lots of carbonation coming off there. Traditionally, shorts, um, bottle ferments, bottle conditions, so I'm assuming that's the case here. Um, but yeah, there's some nice brown notes, some nice light brown notes in there. Just a, it's a, a solid looking, you know, beer. All right, the aroma on the PB&J, and I'm laughing because I know I smelled it. Oh my God, it's so weird. It's so weird. It's almost too much. It really is. It, it smells like peanut butter, and it smells like a sour raspberry jelly. Um, I, I'm not shitting you. It really does. Um, there's some breadiness in there. There's some uh, like sour rye characters to it. There's also some, like some weird kind of smokiness to it. Um, I'm assuming that's from the peanut butter stout. There's some chocolate notes in there. Kind of a dry kind of finish to it. A little bit of alcohol in the, in the nose. It, it smells like fresh peanut butter and sour raspberry jelly with bread. It really, really does. My first impression is big, big raspberry sourness. Front of the tongue, a lot of sourness. Middle of the tongue, I'm um, starting to get those chocolate notes, those coffee notes from the stout mixed with kind of a deeper kind of raspberry flavor. And then the final taste is definitely a hint, just a hint of peanut butter um, or peanuts. You definitely get that maltiness. There's definitely big coffee notes in there, big caramel and toffee notes in there from the stout. You know, definitely a solid, solid stout. Definitely some big big raspberry notes in there to kind of change up the flavor of the stout and then it ends on a it tastes like peanuts it tastes like peanut butter together the carbonation helps to kind of scrub the taste so there's no weird peanut butter aftertaste or raspberry aftertaste it really works and it's blended well so what are you gonna say i mean that it is what it is all right the final verdict on shorts pb and j i'm gonna give it a b this is one of those beers, if you find, you just have to try. Um, but it's one of those beers you just couldn't drink a lot of, and it's not something you're going to actively seek out at a bar or something. But I think it's a great beer just to try once or twice. or you know, It's, it's, it's a seasonal kind of limited beer, so and I think they're kind of smart to do that because a six-pack of this for a year is probably you know, good or whatever. But I think it's a really well-blended beer. It's a really, cra it's a really well-crafted beer, and I use, it's, it's an artistic beer. Um, he, you know, has really high hopes for his beers and they usually hit nine out of 10 times. So with that said, guys, I'm going to give this one a B, a B plus. Definitely check it out. If you can trade for it on Beer Advocate, it is definitely worth seeking out. Um, also check out their Uber Goober stout, which is their peanut butter stout, which is the base of this one. So with that said, guys, remember life is too short. Don't be afraid to try different beers. Cheers. <laughs>